What's up guys this is Bharat here welcome back to another video on tech matrix today you will learn how to root MIUI 7 on Xiaomi Mi 3 although this works on almost all Xiaomi phones let's get to it If you don't have MIUI 7 already it's pretty simple to install just go to en.miui.com and go to the download section select your device and click on the download full rom of the developer version of it it will say MIUI 7 right here so just download that put it on the root of your device and go to the updater app and click on the menu and select choose update package and scroll down and locate the downloaded package and that's about it firstly download all the files i'm going to leave a link in the description for you to download and you'll also need a windows pc preferably windows 7 and above if you don't have adb drivers installed already i will leave the adb drivers in the folder as well now if you are not using an mi3 like right now i'm using an mi3 so if you want to root any other device you will need a clockwork mod recovery or a twerp recovery if you don't know what this is just google it like how i'm showing you here and get the right recovery for your device and once you get it either it will be in a zip file or an image file extract the image and keep it aside for your device next after you install the adb copy the update.zip and update2.zip into your internal memory on your root of your device in my case it's the mi3 so go into the mi3 root of the folder and copy paste it i've already done that so i'm just going to skip this next go to the windows c drive and either android folder or the adb folder wherever you have installed adb and paste the two up image i've already done that i'm just showing you i'm going to rename this to two up so that it's easier for us and then switch off the device and while you're switching it on hold the down button and switch it on so it will go into fast boot mode like here so once you are in fast boot mode right click with shift and it will say open command prompt here just type in fast boot space devices it will show you the device if it's not showing then reinstall your adb or the fast boot drivers and uh, type in fast boot space boot and space the image name in my case it's 2up.img you can name it whatever you want i'm just gonna copy paste the 2up.img or you even you can type it over there so once you do that it will say okay if it says okay like how it's showing mine it will boot into 2up like this once it boots into 2up click on install locate update.zip and swipe to confirm flash once you do this your phone will reboot and go into the normal mode once that is done uh, sorry you have to click on reboot system at this point and uh, once it is rebooted you'll go into play store if you have super not got super su installed for some reason for me it didn't work for you it might work i will just install super su myself and click on the super su icon after it's installed for me it didn't work again so i had to go to the updater app and click on the menu and locate update2.zip like how i'm showing you here and once you locate it and install it from here you basically get super su access so click on continue and click on normal and once you click on normal it will take some time to install the binaries that are needed and once that's done it will ask you for reboot click on the reboot and that's pretty much it you have super su access after it comes back to normal just for your reference i'm showing you the root checker and it's all there so that's it guys for this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and as always subscribe for more informative videos like this this is Bharatiya signing off